What's up guys, this is Dead Aim Headshot. This is going to be a video on how to set up your HD PVR2. Uh, I've got mine hooked up in the living room of course, and you can see as I've got my laptop and my Afterglow headset and all that stuff. Uh, this is going to be how to record your own voice as well as voice chat. Okay, I have both a, uh, with the Xbox 360 and the PS3 and I will be showing you how to do set up your voice chat and or for recording your own voice as well as uh, voice chat in game so the back of your PVR I've got it hooked up to the PS3 right now so I've got the component cables out this is hooked your PS3 will have to be hooked in first and with just the component cables without this to this you have to go in and change your settings to be through the component and 1080i then it'll work with the PVR too other than that, you can't plug HDMI into the PS3 because their HDMI is encrypted. Um, you got the power cable plug in this end back here. Power cable, USB is connected obviously to your computer. They supply a pretty long USB cable, so you you should reach. Obviously, you can see I'm reaching to over there. Um, HDMI out. This goes to your TV. If you're using the Xbox, you run HDMI cable from the back of your Xbox to the back of this on the HDMI end. Um, I'm not sure if you have the Xbox and the PS3 in at the same time. I'm sure you probably could because if you go, and I'll show you this right here, if you have it hooked into your laptop or your desktop, wherever you have it hooked in, you'll have this option. And of course, it's not gonna do it, but I've got dust and stuff all over my laptop. But if you look up here, you can choose component and then your sound. On uh, PS3 you want component, YB, PPR, whatever it is, and line in. RCA is audio. On the Xbox you want HDMI and HDMI. Uh, okay, so I'll show you the Xbox first because it's a little quicker. Um, you know, what you'll want to do is you'll want to go into... And uh, sorry, I'm not recording this with the PVR itself. But I'm trying to do this quick because I've had a lot of questions. I want to get this up as soon as possible for you guys. You want to go over to your preferences. Go to voice. And you're going to go through and play either play your vo voice output through the speakers or play through both. I suggest don't play through both. Um, that way you can hear... Um, Depending on what type of headset, you can hear the voice chat through your headset, but you need it to come, the voice chat has to come through the speakers to record into the PVR, because if it's just coming through your Bluetooth or through your controller headset, it's not going to record, because the PVR only picks up TV output. Now, um, that's pretty much what you got to do for this, to record voice chat for other players. Your own voice... Well, let me show you how to set up the PS3 first, and then I'll show you how to record your own voice, because it's the same on both, with the HDP VR2 at least. So, let me switch this over to my PS3. And here we go. You're going to want to go to your XMB menu, go to Accessories, go to your Audio Device Settings, and you're going to want to do change your input device to whatever you're using as your headphones. So I'm using, say you're using a Bluetooth headset you have right here, or if you're using, you know, whatever headset, pick it. And then on your output, do not use your Bluetooth, and do not. So hold on, I'm not sure if I got that on video right. But anyways, pick your uh, input device here. So your microphone will go right here, and then your output. Um, do not choose your Bluetooth or your headphones. You're going to want your output to be through the speakers. And to do this in a living room, you're really going to have to have headphones or a set of over-the-ear headphones like I do for the PS3. Okay, so that's set up. Um, that's basically what you got to do to have voice chat come to the TV and be able to hear other players talk. Um, so when I have these, these are hooked in through the back of my TV, so I got my headset right here, and so the player's voices and all the sounds of it will be coming out of my jacks right here. So you can mute your actual TV so there's no sound other than what's coming out of your headset. That way it sets up the next step where you won't have to worry about feedback. Uh, you're going to want 
to go into and download Audacity. It's I'm not sure if I can get a good I got my thing on here. I needed the flash on for the back, but now it's being a pain in the butt here. Let me see if I can cover it up. There we go. Uh, Audacity. That's being all blurry. Anyways, Audacity, there's the bigger version of the icon if you need to see it. Go in here and you're going to record this. You'll be able to record just literally all you're going to really have to do is go in, hit this button, have a microphone set up so you can record your voice. I'm using this cheap, cheap, cheap microphone I've had for like 10 years. Um, as long as you can record your voice, you know, you might want to get a more expensive one in the future. So all of my videos you've heard has been using this one. Um, you can use like a USB rock band mic. Um, this is, uh, since I didn't get a good version or get a good video on my phone of Audacity, I decided to go ahead and record this. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to pull up Audacity and have your microphone uh, a set, your microphone hooked up to your laptop. A lot of laptops have microphones plugged in already built into them, so you could probably use one of those. Uh, you want to make sure it's pretty sensitive because obviously you're not going to have your microphone as close to your face on your laptop as you do your headset that you're talking to your through the console with. So, okay, you want to start your recording. Yeah, I usually record for about three hours at a time. So, like, what I do is I'll start up the game, I'll start this recording, and what I'll do is I'll pull up the game. This is obviously just a picture, but I'll go and I'll say, fi I'll highlight this with the cursor. Pretend, uh, so I'll go like find game, private match, create a class, private match, and I'll call it out as I'm highlighting it. And uh, I use this at whenever I do my video editing in Vegas. So like say, let's see, I have this pulled up in Vegas. So say I've got a track like this. Let's see, group, ungroup. Uh, I can do this like I can sync up my audio I'll take the audio and I'll find where I'm saying that and I'll cut it like if I just now right here started saying uh, the names of the menu I'll trim the start of it so I have the very start where I say fine game and then I'll find where I'm highlighting fine game and find it on here and line it up with it so it's perfect uh, and then once you do that just highlight in Vegas you highlight two of the clips click G on your keyboard and it syncs these together and then you can trim all the excess stuff off of it but uh, anyways that's pretty much how I do my audio and it syncs my voice up pretty good and that way you also like your normal audio will be right here so if you're in Vegas you'll have your game your game footage right here your audio right here and then you'll also have your voice audio which is kind of neat that you do it like this uh, your own voice audio will be, let's see, group, ungroup. Obviously, this isn't how it's done right here. I'm just showing you as an uh, example. But anyways, you import your voice audio, you'll put it below here. So, the cool thing about this is you'll have your game, your game of audio and your uh, voice chat of other players will be in the top audio track right here and then your own voice will be in this bottom track right here so you can adjust your voice separately from this so you can turn say somebody's being super loud and you want to kind of cut that down you can just turn the volume down on the game chat and jack up your voice audio, audio all the way up volume uh, so that comes in handy recording like this it's a little complicated you know there's some uh, capture cards that already have in like microphone inputs which is really good. I kind of wish the HDPR had included that for like live streaming, so it automatically put the delay on the mic instead of you know when you do it with the HDPR, you're big hassle to live stream, and your mic is always going to be delayed, and it's hard as hell to get perfect unless you're really good at figuring out the milliseconds <laughs> and delays and stuff like that. But um, yeah, you just record right here, and then when you get done here, you'll get a file and you you don't have to save this project at all all you gotta do is go to export and change it to an mp3 make sure it's as an mp3 file 
and or well I guess you could do wave but I usually just mp3s name it and put it somewhere and then that's what the file you drag the mp3 into Vegas or whatever editing program you use to do this with but I hope this helped you guys out if you have any other questions uh, just leave a comment below I'll try to I, I'm actually thinking about doing a separate channel just for tutorials and questions like this so if you guys really would like to see more tutorials and I, I apologize for the quick hurry through all of this because I was trying to get this video out real quick because I know a lot of you guys got these for Christmas and you're you know you've had them a couple days now and you're probably frustrated that they don't work so I'm trying to just get this out there quick but uh, thank you guys for watching I'll talk to y'all later